Hi Fudgies and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today I have another back to school shop with me to share with you, but this time I'm headed to the Dollar Tree. So come along with me. The Family Fudge, the Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay friends, so literally this morning, I've already been to Target to check out all the new things in the dollar spot there, but now I'm at the Dollar Tree because I figure if Target has their stuff for back to school, the Dollar Tree should as well. Because in my town, some of the schools go back to school in just a couple of weeks. Now this year, Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily will be attending a charter school. So it's gonna be a different setup for us. We definitely need more back to school items. And if you want the best selection in my town, you've gotta to go right when they put the stuff out. So right now I'm gonna head on into the store and of course I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm gonna show you everything that they have or they don't have, I'm not quite sure if we'll find anything. We'll sh we shall see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a full collective haul of all the back to school stuff that I get in one separate video. Instead of doing a little haul and a little haul, just put it all together in one video for you. So stay tuned for that. Now let's head on in and see what they've got. Yes, I'm still in my husband's truck because my car is still in the shop. This should be ready in a couple more days. Now Mackenzie and I were actually here last week and they only had one aisle of back to school stuff and it wasn't super impressive, but I'm thinking we're gonna find more today. Hopefully, cross your fingers. So right when you walk into the door, I see all of this back to school stuff we saw last time. We have notebooks and pencil pouches and lots of really cute binders. I'm really impressed with these. I bought a bunch of these last year and they actually held up really well, but they're even cuter this year with all of these patterns. Look you guys, they do have the back to school stuff almost as far as the eye can see. Let's check it out. Now I have to tell you, this is not the best price on crayons right now. I just saw the same crayons for only 50 cents at Target. I'm a huge fan of these calendars. They did not have these at Target. These are perfect for a binder, or I like to put some magnets on the back and stick it on my fridge. And there's several different, really cute designs. So yes, tons of pens, tons of markers, but I see some that I know Mackenzie would love, these fruit scented ones. Yeah, those would definitely be on her list. They have lots of pencil holders, lots of glue. Again, this is not the best price in town right now. Target's gonna have these for about 50 cents, so I would definitely buy them there. It looks like they have all the same pencil cases as last year. I'm not seeing anything new. Now this glue, this glue is a good deal. This is definitely gonna cost more at Target. This is also a really good place to stock up on scissors. You can get two for a dollar here, which is a really good deal. I love these little caddies, you guys. These would be perfect if you have a daycare or a preschool or maybe a kindergarten teacher. They're so colorful and you can put pens and pencils and crayons in there. Now this year I'm seeing something new, which is a little tray. This would be perfect for some learning stations, some sensory play, things like that. Definitely didn't see these last year. Of course we have rulers and protractors, calculators, and these locker items, these are so cool. They already have the magnet on the back, so you can just stick it right on there. And a mirror too. These three hole punches worked out really well for us last year. And I also bought a bunch of these magnets last year. It has a clip on it as well, so it's perfect for the fridge or a locker. Now I know this isn't school items, but I did want to check the floral department. I can see that they still have the summer flowers, no fall flowers yet. I'm excited to see those though. It is surprisingly quiet in here, you guys. This is a good time to come to the Dollar Tree. Now, right next to the school stuff, we have sort of school lunch supplies. Peanut butter, jelly, of course. We like these little peanut butter to-go cups. Those are really fun. My kids love these. They also love these. These are really fun to throw into a lunch. We have goldfish crackers, little tiny cereals, other snacks but I'm most excited to see these lunch containers. These are some of my all-time favorite lunch containers. You get two for a dollar and they work really well, just as well as these Sistema ones, and those are a lot more expensive. But these are new, I haven't seen these before. 
It actually comes with the ice pack. It's in the lid. And there's lots of different colors. They also have the soup one and the regular lunch one. Here's something new. We have some dry erase boards that this year they're colorful. We have pink and orange and green. Last year here they only had white. Check out these huge erasers. How fun. And there's lots of pencil organizers as well. Perfect for your desk. Lots of different colors. Here's another section I always get really excited about. I love the teacher section. But it looks like I have most of these items already. I'm not seeing a lot of new things. I have the tweezers. I have all of these sight word activities. I have most of these games. I really like the educational spinners available. But again, we already have all of these in our homeschool. It's a really good place to buy workbooks. They have a huge selection, perfect for your preschoolers, your kindergartners younger siblings that want to do school but they're a little bit too young. If you're not into colorful school supplies, they also have the plain black and gray pencil holders, desk organizers, things like that. Now this area is looking pretty much the same as last year as well. We have other scissors and erasers, pencil sharpeners, little scissors. These are so cute. Oh, these, these are a great find. It's a little metal tin with a magnet already on the back. This will go on fridges, it can go in pantries, lockers, perfect for organizing small items like paper clips. You have a big one like that, or you can buy two smaller ones. I'm not seeing any more school stuff, but I do want to check the food containers on this aisle first. There's lots of little containers, perfect for lunches, but I'm not seeing anything new. We have the same Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig. We have Frozen, and I think I have all of these things already. But here's something that's new at my Dollar Tree. We have some placemats. We have the Frozen one. There's Paw Patrol. Princesses, cute. Ninja Turtles, Jackson would love that one. And another Frozen one. Those are cute. This is gonna be a good time to stock up on these. I use these little containers in my lunch videos a lot and they work really well. They have a rectangle one, and usually they have a circle one too. Oh, here it is. I definitely want to get one of each. And of course, it wouldn't be a trip to the Dollar Tree without checking out the organizing bins. Of course, you know I love the white. But today, I'm actually looking for these ones. Oh, they're up really high. I want to do a special movie-themed lunch with the kids, and this will be perfect. They can put their little snacks and drink and popcorn in there. It should be really fun. I do wish they had these in other colors, though. I'm not seeing any, just the green ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and get four of these. Now I know it's too early to be talking about school projects, but if you have one, this is a great place to buy foam boards, poster boards, and these project display boards, a lot cheaper than anywhere else. Okay, fudgies, I hope that gives you a good idea of what's available at the Dollar Tree for back to school this year. I noticed a lot of the same items that they had last year, but there were some new items as well. I would love it if you would let me know in the comments down below what your favorite back to school item was from the Dollar Tree last year. But I also wanna know if you bought anything at the Dollar Tree that did not work. That way we can all avoid buying them this year. For me, I bought a lot of sticky notes last year and they just were not sticky enough. I could not get them to work. And I ended up just throwing them away and getting the name brand post-it notes. So let us know if you have any Dollar Tree fails. And of course, I did purchase a good amount of things today, but I'm gonna show you all of those things in a collective big back to school haul. And I'm also planning some back to school giveaways, so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.